Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day so far. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. But today we're going to be talking about five reasons why I think the BlackBerry Passport is actually worth checking out in 2021. Now, this is a seven year old device, guys. Um, but what I have to say is that I've been able to use this thing really good. It's, it's been holding up really well over time and I really like using this device. So I'm going to give you five reasons why I definitely think this device is overall just a really solid device. You can definitely still use this device and I'm going to talk about why. All right, guys. So the first reason I like using this device in 2021 is because it has access to a lot of apps from the Play Store. I have a video where I show you guys how to get to the Play Store, but there's just a variety of um, games that I'm able to download and play on this device in 2021. And believe it or not, guys, the experience when using um, the gaming on here is actually really solid. So you're able to get to a lot of games on this device a lot of different apps using the Play Store on this device. They actually run pretty smooth. Um, so I'm gonna show you just a few examples of what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so this is pretty much the first game I wanna show you, it's called Asphalt 8. Now, this was released, you know, before Asphalt 9 uh, came out, but it's still a really solid device. It's called Asphalt Airborne 8. It's one of the most solid games that was ever um, put on the play store and it's still being you're still able to play it on this device and it actually runs pretty smooth guys so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about there's like this elimination race that i'm going to try to beat right now but the graphics on here look really good guys i can't complain about that um we're going to jump into the speakers which i do love on this device we'll get into that a little bit more detail this device doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack we're going to get into the build quality right after this because that's that's another thing I want to talk about as well. But the you could get to a lot of different titles like Asphalt 8. All right, guys. So as you can see, the game is playable on here. Um, just a really solid game overall. So basically, you can see that the graphics on here have lasted really well. It has it still has a beautiful display on here. I forgot to talk about that. But um, the display, we're going to get into that in a little bit more detail as well. But look how smooth the gameplay is on this device. For a seven-year-old device, this is actually pretty good, really good performance. I'm really impressed with this. Um, it's optimized very well. So you can see right here, uh, the graphics just look phenomenal. No lag, no stutters, no hiccups, things of that nature. Everything looks really sweet. So as you can see, I'm able to play this game. I just love playing Asphalt 8 on this thing, as well as some other titles, which I want to show you right after this one. But look how smooth this gameplay is, guys. So like I said, you're going to be able to play a lot of your favorite titles on here. Uh, it can play Temple Run 2, which is a, a game that I like to play on here. Is Whoa, what just happened? Okay, let's try that again. So like Temple Run 2 is on here. It's actually a pretty sweet game. The graphics look really cool on here. Um, the form factor is really different as well. You can see that it keeps up. There's no lag, there's no stutters on here. So even a, a phone like this with the 28 nanometer processing chip from, it's at the Snapdragon 801. So it's, you know, pretty dated. But overall guys, it's holding up really well. I'm able to play Temple Run 2 on here with no sign of slowing down or anything of that nature. So I just want to let you guys see that for your own eyes. And, you know, that's one of my favorite things. You can get to a lot of your favorite titles like um, like this one. Um, so you know, you'll definitely be able to get a lot of different apps from the Play Store, like I said before. Whoa, whoa. So, yeah, like I said, guys, this is going to be a really cool experience for gaming and things of that nature. If you're the type of person who likes gaming on your smartphone you will get to some um you know nice titles one of my favorites is uh crazy taxi classic as well oh man another thing i like this thing for is just communication text messaging emails um you know things like that like you're not gonna ever like miss a, a, an email or a text message it's, they're all like right here in this little area 
Um, so when it comes to basically like text messaging, social media, you could even get WhatsApp on here. You know, it does let you text message people. You could, um, you could text, you could send pictures, things of that nature. Um, you could look at different images from WhatsApp. And I just think it's really sweet that um, it does offer that feature. I could get into my, my, um, my Yahoo, um, not Yahoo, but like the messenger app from, from, from um, Facebook. You could also get into, you know, uh, let's see. So if you want to type on this thing for, you know, notes and things of that nature, I do have the color um, notes right here. This keyboard does feel really natural. And um, the more you use it, the better you get at typing. It's kind of hard to type and talk at the same time. But the more you um, use it, the more you get used to it. And you can see you've got the number keys up top on the side. So you can always get to your um, your, 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 your symbols. you got your numbers. You may not get like emojis and things of the nature, that nature, but um, you can see you get your notes, everything like that. What I usually do is um, I saved every single emoji inside of these these notes. And what I did is if I if I ever want to type a message to someone, I'd have to copy the emoji from here. It's kind of stupid, but look, you can actually copy that. So then when you go back into a message, not that I would send this dude a heart, that would be mad weird, but look, you could get the emoji as well when you copy and paste it from notes. You know, you could respond with the text messaging. It even gives you, um, you know, this option right here if you wanna say it with your voice. Let me see if that'll work. What time is it in New York City right now? Let me see if that works. Done. What time is it in New York City right now to see if it works? Yeah, that works. So you could even use the audio text if you don't want to type it out. I think that's also pretty cool as well. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can the keyboard is really nice. You do have voice notes as well, but you, you do have all the apps. I do even use, um, let me show you guys. Amazon Kindle on here from the Play Store. So you can get to all your, your, your apps from the Play Store, Pandora, Uber, um, you know, Uber, you just type your phone number in and um, it's gonna let you, you know, get that ride. It's gonna save your credit card based on the profile you sign into from your other devices. So just keep that in mind. I just had a, uh, for some reason it's not loading right now. All right, that's cool. So the emails, the communication, and the Play Store is another cool reason. Yeah, um, get into your apps. I have uh, you know, a ton of apps. Firefox I use on here to watch YouTube as well. I could get to my YouTube. I could get to different websites and things of that nature. And you know, you can get to a lot of things on here, guys. So you could open up a new window. You could get to Facebook. You could get to Twitter. You could get to Instagram. Uh, you know, it just it flows really nicely on this device. So let's just see black berry. And then just, let's just see what comes up. Blackberry Joy Store. No, let me see. Let me just type Blackberry. And then see what kind of results we get. So as you can see, it does search pretty well on the web. You could browse with the little key here. Uh, you know, so the, the browsing experience is really nice with this little keyboard. You can see like it's really fast and zippy when I'm browsing on Firefox and looking at the, 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 the browser. So like I said, the experience with this one is really good for, you know, the Play Store, gaming, the internet, uh, the internet. Uh, the keyboard works well. You're going to be able to type really well and communicate through Messenger and WhatsApp and all those different types of apps, guys. Um, now, the, not, the another thing I want to talk about is the overall build quality on this device, guys. It's really solid. Now, this thing is really just made of uh, aluminum frame, a plastic back, and Gorilla Gla Glass 3 on the front, which is really nice. We do get a capacitive touch 
three row keyboard on the bottom right here, which you could use to scroll. You get the 4.5 uh, inch display, which looks really, really good. I can't emphasize that enough. It's 14 by 40 um, times 1440, one by one with 453 pixels per inch. But let me just talk about the build quality a little bit more. So we do have this little thing right here on the back which you get your SIM tool and SD card expansion on here. You get a, you do get a camera right there, which is a 13 megapixel, which is actually pretty decent in 2021. For 2014, it was really good, but now seven years later, it's just a decent camera. Um, like I said, it's just gonna hold up really well. The build quality is nice. You do get micro USB with dual speakers on the bottom. Um, so that's really sick. You get a mute switch when you're in when you're listening to media You could click that and it'll turn on or off It auto rotates the screen as well when you turn that on on here and um Like I said before guys the 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 software on here is really clean I have a lot of apps on here that I'm just able to play with and The ease of use is really smooth. Um, I got Netflix on here. Like I said, I got Spotify um, and like I said, guys, it's just going to be a solid phone when it comes to listening to, you know, different songs on here. It has really good speakers. So you, it's just a really, uh, I just like this experience overall. It's just a really sweet device, guys, for the price. Uh, a lot of features on here, NFC for, you know, mobile sharing, uh, different things of that nature. Hotspot is on here as well to load. I swear, I don't even know if I am ready for this day today. As you can see by the title. Now you can press this little I mute key. Oh, that's that's actually the the assist. Oh, the wait, hold on. Where was YouTube? Here it is. That's the mute key. So it, it like. I came up with a great. I it's like a pause this, button here. Such a great idea. We will, we will see in, in a little bit. But um. Yeah, yeah that sounds just, actually really good, guys. Um, battery life on here is pretty decent as well. You'll you'll probably get like a full day thing, but overall you're gonna be able to get to all your media really quickly. Uh, I got Pandora on here. I use APK Pure to get more apps from their, their store as well as the Play Store on here. So like I said, guys, it's gonna be a really solid device with a lot of cool features on here. And, um, you know, it it's, it's still running in 2021. So these are my top five reasons uh, to check it out, guys. So the overall speakers are really good. You get those dual speakers on the bottom, the build quality grill last three, with aluminum. You also do get the Play Store on here. You could communicate with different apps on here, Messenger, WhatsApp, and you get email support as well as this beautiful keyboard for scrolling and anything you want, guys. So let me know what you guys think down below, but I'll get right back with you later, group. Peace.